Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Digby. This is going to be VSL Season 16, Round of 32, Group G, the final group of the Round of 32. We have Do Life. I guess Bloomster being uh, alt, which I was not aware he had. But VSL Vet, Overlord making its way up the left-hand side. He's going to get first scout. He's going up against Attentat. I'm going to have to favor Do Life just because of his experience and knowing his skill level. If I was going to call the Round of Four at this stage, I think it would be... Like, the, the player... I, I think Fisheye is still the guy to beat. I could see Do Life making it there. I could see Advil making it there. And I'm trying to think of who I'm going to put in that fourth spot from what we've seen thus far. I'm going to wait for the players to surprise me. Otherwise, but I could see those being among three of the four finalists. This is on Vermeer, by the way. If I did not already mention that. Actually, what's the color swap? I'm going to actually swap the colors back. This is quite fetching. Attentat's still in the red, but this is a very nice green. If I, It's interesting. I'm trying to recall if I saw Do Life in his previous matches versus Zerg. I remember him playing quite a bit of TVT and quite a bit of TVP, but for some reason, I am just blanking on what his TVZ looks like. Right now, it has been a struggle for Zerg players as there has been... Especially in the foreigner community, because there have been a there the guides have been leaked from Light coaching. Uh, was he coaching Barracks? I'm trying to remember who he was coaching, but essentially he was kind of going over the finer points of the two racks opener, which has caused a lot of Terran to emulate that and have a lot of just a stronger playstyle, getting that level of uh, information and technical know-how and the variations off the two Barracks play into Valkyrie has just been very, very strong. Attentat looks like he wants to go for a very quick third hatchery. He's lining up the drone to grab the gas, but is... Or never mind, that's just going to be a scouting drone. For a second there, I thought he was going to move that out to a third position to go ahead and grab a quick third hatchery. But grabbing the gas at around the 207 mark. Spawning pool, extractor, do life. Sees the gas timing. He's going to leave... After seeing the 12 hatches, not even going to produce a marine, is just going to go ahead and grab that command center overlord. Spots on location. The drone remains idle in the bottom right, and I'm wondering if this is going to be a three hatch muta opener and Attentat attempting to secure the base bottom right and then transition into Lurker and block the ramp from there. But I digress, moving the drone out of position. Actually, a little bit curious why, maybe because of the distance to reinforce with Mutalisk. It used to be the play that Zerg would go for almost de facto. Lair tech mutating. Second barracks, but not a lot of marines at all produced thus far from Dewlife, and he still hasn't grabbed his gas. So could have some trouble if this is just going to be two hatch muta to start, because he's going to need to overproduce turrets potentially. Plus one what or not plus one weapons range and well I guess plus one weapons yes but plus one weapons and range are gonna take a while and he doesn't this is the first marine out on the ground SCV lead is there in workers but uh, yeah building a bunker preventatively if there was a zergling flood right now there that potentially would have been game but do life having trouble keeping that SCV alive on the front. It's actually pulling it out. Let's see if he even is able to go and check the 9 o'clock or the nearby third to see if a third base was even constructed. No, he's just going to return it back home, canceling the, the bunker upon seeing fewer Zerglings produced and also recognized so good reconnoitering. Reconnoitering? Wow, I cannot say it. I shouldn't have even attempted to use that word. Reconnoiter. There. Reconnoitering. When you add the ING, it just makes it harder to save for some reason. We are seeing the uh, two barracks opener into Academy style. Reconstructing a supply depot on the front rather than a bunker. And we have the spire and a second gas being grabbed. So no three hatch play. It looks like it potentially may be an in-base two hatch as we don't see a drone cycling out to secure additional location. A lot of Zerglings out on that lower spoke. Do Life has managed to increase his marine count to eight. Two medics along the wings, getting that commsat station and engineering bay as well. Some Zerglings 
testing lines, seeing a lack of bunker, and also seeing the Marines out here and actually pushing out quite a bit to try to... So he's hoping the Marine... Oh, man, going for a backstab. You can see Zerglings pocketing up to the north, hoping that there's a move out from Do Life, and then want to go for a counterattack or maybe even a surround. Now diving in with the Zerglings. The Zergling speed finishes. Good surround by Attentat. He's going to get the Medics for sure. And that is huge. Okay, the Zerglings continuing to push through. It looks like the Medics were not focus-fired, so they still might survive. Decent defense. Actually, solid defense from Do Life. I thought that was a game-ending maneuver right there. Still ended up losing a lot of Marines in those exchanges. The Medics being pulled away to the SCVs, getting picked off. A lot of their energy being expended. And the Spire has finished. Plus one weapons and Mutalisks out in the air. I don't see any defensive turrets as of yet, and the Marine count very low. One missile turret, but ooh, I don't know that this is efficient. I think Attentat with the early game aggression might have sealed a victory for himself. Three Mutalisks, not five, but able to get there, well, actually able to get through the lines. The Marines drawing away from the front. The Marine, I'm sorry, the SCV that was constructing the turrets in the main able to get that up. But this is still opening up the Zerglings to yeah, run in and go ahead and wipe out the turrets at the natural expansion. And with additional Mutalisks in production and that plus one weapons lingering, Attentat can do a follow-up strike and the Marine count is not sufficient and the turret count no longer is sufficient to go ahead and keep these Mutalisks back. So that natural expansion going to be expended. SCV's huddling around that turret to try to group repair. One Mutalist does fall, but Attentat in a solid position if he just continues with the Mutalist Flood to win it off two hatch. Sweeping back towards the main, getting another turret hit and kill. And this is without plus one weapons as well. That's opening up the barracks line. There are enough Marines to at least push the Mutalist back, but as that Mutalist count grows... Wow, Attentat's versus Terran, very, very solid. I have to say. Natural expansion starting to get remined. Wonder if this was uh, Bloomster under Do Life's account. That's also another possibility. Because this isn't, uh, I don't know, not typical Do Life style play. More Mule grouping up, have not joined the control group. Two additional Mule Lisks pecked out out of that group. Need to be grouped up for Adtat and able to pick off a supply depot. Huge supply lead. Yeah, if he can... Ooh. Miss Mike Ring a bit there where and ate a lot of free marine damage. They do now have range. Two additional turrets... Or sorry, an additional turret being planted over the barracks line. Immediately falling, though, it looks like. SCV dying as it was trying to repair some solid Mutalist Micro, I have to say. I'm going to say Attentat, actually. The way he's looking might be that player four that I'm looking at. Turrets getting wiped out by Zerglings at the natural as the Marines can't exit. They have to protect that barracks line. A factory is up, but this is a very late factory. And that's going to delay science vessels immensely. Plus one weapons is online. No plus one weapons as of yet for the Marines. It looks like that's still a tick away. <clears throat> so these Mutalists could just dive on that entire medic Marine group and wipe it out. That could be GG right there. And that is what I am seeing. Yeah, there's GG from Do Life recognizing who, again, might be Bloomster. Might be a different account right here. That's an... Just Do Life's other matchups are strong enough that it, it shocks me to see him get rolled over by a two-hatch play. Give him the benefit of the doubt. We'll see. We'll see as the games continue. Regardless, well played by Attentat. He will advance to the round of 16, deservedly so. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for listening. Oh, like and subscribe. I never say that on YouTube. I should start doing that. Thank you.